heel, you don't realize with your angle of heel how much you side slip. Yes. And if you're way heeled over, you are losing as much down the course Absolutely. as you're gaining. You're, you're, losing, you're losing all that lever. You know, the, the scow is set with a flange on the board. So when it's flat, the board is like that, which is not good. You got a lot of hold in the water. You pull it out, that, that's your perfect angle. If you go bull, above that, you're, you're starting to slip. And then when you get hit and the wind's blowing you this way and you're heeled up like that, you really slide down. And you see it, you know, guys, guys worry about like not pointing. And so, the, you know, they pinch in the breeze. But if you, if you ease the sail, bring the bow down and start accelerating, getting up to your speed, you actually get thrust to windward. It, it doesn't actually thrust to windward, but it feels like it because everyone else is pinching and they're side slipping. And you're driving and you're not. So your boat is pointed, you know, lower than theirs, but they're going like that and you're going straight. And it's amazing. I mean, we have completely, you know, we've been on races where Bitter and I uh, are way overpowered, no third. And he cranks the Vang, the Cunningham, dumps the Traveler. I give the sheet six, six feet of ease and we fly past boats that have three on where everything's buttoned up and, and they're trying to keep the boat going and we just drive right by them and by the you know we don't do it often but you know we have done it where you know in last race uh, at Geneva a couple of years ago we went from like 30th to 7th and it was snorting at least 20 and it was just the two of us and it beat mm. the shit out of him but we just annihilated the other teams just because we were just driving the boat um, so much better, so much faster. And, you know, Andy was talking about that. He said, you know, sometimes, because Joe at the time was probably 210, I was probably 210, so we're 420, and you throw a third on there, and you're at 550, and he said, you know, that's just 75 pounds too much. And the boat, you know, it just plows through the water instead of being buoyant on top of the waves, and you can drive through it. So, that, you know, I've noticed it's not that I like sailing with 420 pounds when you need 475, but the boat is so much sportier when you've got that.